In this video, I'm going to compare Beaver Builder versus Elementor in WordPress. I'm going to show you the main differences and the main similarities these two page builders have and which one is the best depending on, the, on your situation if you want to create a uh, WordPress website. So here I have two WordPress websites. This one, it's called dev crypto site, just ignore this. This is just the subdomain and I have dev all about it. So I'm going to show you the main differences in the, these two websites. Uh, in, the, in one of them, I've installed Elementor and in the other one, I've installed um, Beaver Builder. So let's get started. So first I'm going to show you how you can install both of these. So you just want to go to plugins then go to add new and if you want to install Elementor just type in Elementor right here there we go and as you can see you can install it here and also Beaver Builder you can type it in as well it basically works the same way so here you can install Beaver Builder so for me it's not installed on this one I'm just going to do it right now like it's not ne really necessary but this is just how you can do it then activate it and now you have installed the builder so if you want to add, edit a page, you can go to pages and let's say I want to edit the home page. I can go to, so this one is the Elementor website and this one is the Beaver Builder website. So let's go to the home page and hit edit. And here I can go ahead and hit edit with Elementor. So now it's going to open Elementor and what I can tell straight away, Elementor is much more complex than Beaver Builder. You can do more things and it's maybe a little bit more overwhelming than Beaver Builder. Let me show that in a bit. So when we go to the other website where Beaver Builder is installed, you can do the same thing. Home, um, which one is it? It's this one, Beaver Builder. And now it's going to open in Beaver Builder. As you can see, and you can see that Beaver Builder is basically the same as uh, Elementor, but is slightly different. So in Elementor, you have this bar this tab at the at the left hand side where you can add all these widgets and basic things you can also search a widget a widget and it's really easy to use it's a drag and drop system as you can see i can just take it and put it in here for example and on beaver builder it's basically the same as you can see i can just hold it and put it somewhere else so what you can tell straight away is that both of these platforms uh both of these builders are really really similar um so i've installed a theme that is editable edit, edit this is possible to edit with both platforms both uh, builders i'm sorry you can see here we have the options the tools for beaver builder and here we have if we go to this here we have the tools for or the edit things for elementor so let me show you how to edit some text in Elementor first. You want to hit this edit button and then this comes up. Here we can change the name, for example, um, subscribe. Uh, you can add a link. So whenever someone hits, uh, it goes to the link. The size, I can change this to small, to default. HTML tag, um, the size again, alignment. You get the point we can also go to style and this is where it gets interesting especially at advanced and this is why elementor is so popular you can do whatever you want with the text with how you want to look it even with pictures basically with anything you can customize it however you want and that's what people like so much about elementor so we can go to the text editor and here we can change the color the typography, the weight, so if I set it to 900, so here it doesn't change, but you can, then it, it's, it is changing, depends on the font, uppercase, lowercase, stuff like that. And in advanced, here we can change the margin, so as you can see now it adds up, padding as well, which is basically the same, only inside of it. Then we have all these options, motion effects, backgrounds, borders, mask, positioning, responsive, and even custom CSS. But for custom CSS, you need Elementor Pro, which costs money. So they have a pro plan available. Beaver Builder also has a pro plan available. I'll go to that in a bit and compare these two. But this is basically what you can do in Elementor. And I can say it's very complex, sometimes complicated. You have to do, you have to just test things and figure it out how it works. But overall, it's not that hard. You don't have to code. It's just drag and drop with all the templates here. And I really, really liked Elementor.
Now we go to uh, Beaver Builder. We can go ahead and edit this. Now this comes up. We can change this to subscribe as well. Subscribe. Same thing. You can add a link. Um, here the description under it. You can just leave it blank. Alignment. So far it's really similar. Here we have um, the separator which, which you can add under it. So this, this is in Elementor, isn't this, but you don't really need this. Tygra typography, here it's again very similar to Elementor, and the advanced tab is uh, nearly the same. But I like this one in Elementor more, because it's more advanced, but it's maybe a bit easier and just cleaner than Beaver Builder. Still, Beaver Builder is very good, it's not... It, it's made by Brycey and by for this team as well. So you're not going to make a mistake if you choose Beaver Builder. But in my opinion, Elementor is a little bit better. So when we want to add a widget, we can go to Elf site. And here are a lot of widgets. widgets. So let's do Airbnb review. Just as an example. Um, we can go to create widget here. And here you can edit everything, so the content on this, uh, we can go to create widget. And this is the widget that we have. And now we can we can use it in our website. And I'm going to show you how you can do it on Beaver Builder and on Elementor. And when we created the widget, this is just an example widget, but there are a ton of widgets on Elf site, which I really like. We can go to add to website and then click to copy. And what you want to do then in Elementor, you want to create a new um, section. So we can just use an, ex uh, an existing se section. So for example here, then type in short code, put it in there, paste in the code, and then you can update. And as you can see, here are the Airbnb reviews. So we can do the same thing in, Ada in Beaver Builder. We can just go ahead and we can just go and hit the plus icon, then hit HTML, and then go to general and paste in the code here and hit save. And now, as you can see, now we've done it in Beaver Builder. So as you can see, Beaver Builder and Elementor are very similar. So now we can go to the pricing. So the pricing of Beaver Builder, it is free. Elementor also, it is completely free, but they do have paid plans. And that's if you want more things, if you want advanced things, you can add code with it. And again, both of them are basically the same. The starter of Beaver Builder is $99 for one year, unlimited sites, page builder, advanced things. It's really good. Elementor Pro, it's way more expensive. And I like Elementor, re really like Elementor because it's way cheaper than Beaver Builder. And if you want some more advanced things for Elementor Pro, then it, this is the way to go. 450 a month isn't a lot, and I really like it. I've used it a lot, and it's definitely worth the money. Now the payment methods. So Beaver Builder accept PayPal and Stripe with credit cards. And here on Elementor, they do the same thing, PayPal or credit cards. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe, and see you next time. Have a good day.